Hi guys, it's been a month since I posted anything on YouTube, so let's do get ready with me and catch up on life. I've tried to film a weekly vlog every week this month, and I'll start off strong and film everything for like a day. And then throughout the week, I just stop filming things, and at the end of the week, I don't have enough content to make a full vlog. So I haven't ended up posting anything this whole month, so we definitely have some catching up to do. Also, I made a makeup tutorial video last year, and I just watched it back, and I've changed pretty much everything that I do. So I'm going to give you an updated makeup tutorial at the same time. The first thing I just put on my face is this super goop glow screen and this is the golden hour one so it's a little bit darker and it gives you a little bit of a tan and then I'm gonna use this Merit concealer stick and just put this on any blemishes that I can see anyways the last thing that I had filmed was Mark getting his nose surgery and it's been about a month since he's gotten it now and he's feeling so much better the first week of recovery was not fun and he was bleeding a lot but after that like first or second week things got so much better he has gotten two sinus infections since then so that part has some but he can breathe so much better. Okay, I'm just gonna blend that in with a little beauty blender. This one is from Kosas. I went wedding dress shopping pretty much right after I stopped filming and it was so much fun. I had my mom and some of my friends and my sister come with me. I tried on a lot of dresses and I was getting kind of worried that I wouldn't find a dress that I just loved. Even though I'm not super picky and I wanted something pretty plain and I wasn't even gonna try this one dress on but the girl's like, just try it on just in case you never know and the second I put it on, I was like, okay, this is my dress. I'm done. I don't need to look at anything else. This one is perfect. And I ended up getting that one. I am making some changes to the dress though. And I didn't know that it takes five months for a wedding dress to come in. And then once it comes in, I also have to do the alterations. So it's not coming till February. And then I have to do alterations after that. So I'm really glad that I went wedding dress shopping like really far in advance because I had no idea it would take that long to get here. Okay, next up I'm using this Dibs Beauty Stick. This has like a bronzer side and a blush side. And I'm gonna use the bronzer side and I just put it along along the outside of my face and on my cheekbone and then a little bit on my nose and a little underneath my chin. And then I'm gonna blend that out with this Dibs double-sided brush and I use the smaller side and I just do this until it's blended in. Okay, another life update is my Live By collection got announced. I've been working on this Live By collection since January and now it's October and it's finally just getting announced. We went and had a shoot for it like two or three weeks ago and I got to see all the pieces in person for the first time. I'm obsessed with everything. It's like the perfect fall collection and it's launching this Tuesday. Today is Sunday. I don't know if this video will be up by the time it launches but if it's past Tuesday the 15th then it's up and I am so freaking excited about it. I've literally been wearing it all week this week. I had it on today and then I just changed into some comfy clothes because we're just going over to Mark's family's house for dinner. But everything in the collection is so cute. All the pieces are like the best material, so comfortable. The cutest colors, like perfect fall collection. I'm so excited about it and I can't believe that it's finally here. Okay next up I'm gonna use this Rare Beauty blush. This is just a mini one. I got this in a PR package. The shade is Beloved and I love the color of this one. Since it's the smaller applicator I do like three dots of this on both sides. If it was the bigger one, I would do like half of one dot. And then I use that same Dibs brush and I just blend it out like this. It looks a little scary at first, but then once you blend it in, it looks so good. I also use the leftover to go on my nose. Also this fades, even by the time my makeup is done, it's a little bit lighter than it is now. So it's okay if it's a little bit dark at first. Okay, next I'm gonna do my eyebrows. This is a Rare Beauty just eyebrow gel. I don't know what it's called. Flexible lifting gel. And I just put a little bit of this in my eyebrows. And next life update is that I'm going to New York this week. I'm so excited. I've never been before and I get to bring Mark with me and it's a work trip. We are going for a K event and we're also going to like a meta event while we're there. I'm so excited. I've never been to New York before. I'm sad that we'll only be there for like one full day. We fly in on Wednesday night. We'll be there Thursday and then we leave Friday morning at like 7 a.m. And the one day that we are there we have two events and they're both a few hours long so we won't really have any time to explore the city or anything like that but I'm just excited that we get to go. I think this is like the first brand event that I've been like flown out for so I'm really excited. Okay next I'm gonna fill in the ends of my eyebrows a little bit because the start of them is really dark and then the ends are a little bit lighter and I'm using this Kosas brow pop. This is like a double-sided. One is the brow pencil and then there's a little brow brush. Also mine is covered in other makeup in my bag but I do this after I put gel in and I just add it on the very ends of my eyebrows just to make them 
them look a little bit longer. Then I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. This is the best eyelash curler ever. I don't know how to say the brand. I think it's Shiseido or Shiseido, something like that. But this curls my eyelashes better than anything else I've literally ever used. In the last video, I was saying how we were taking our engagement pictures and we got our engagement pictures back and they're so cute. I actually printed some of them and put them on a wall in our house and I put a little light over them and it turned out super cute. I'll put some on the screen so you can see what they looked like, but I love them so much. My friend Cass did them and she always does such a good job. She's taken pictures for us a few times before and they always turn out so well. And since we have our engagement pictures back, I started playing around with wedding invitations. We're doing them with a brand, so I kind of have to know a while in advance. So I already put together our invitations. They're so cute. I love them so much. I'm so excited for you guys to see them. Okay, I just started using this. It's a lash primer. You put it on before you put on mascara and I feel like it makes my lashes look so much better. This one is from Grande. It's just called Pre-Mascara Lengthener and Thickener. So I'm gonna put this on my eyelashes before I put on mascara. I bought some new things for our house in the last month too. We got a new couch. Our old couch was just so small. We could only fit like two or three people on it. So whenever we would have anyone over, we didn't have enough space for people to sit. Ever since I moved in like a year ago, I always knew I wanted to get a new couch. So I finally just got one and I love it so much. It was expensive, but it's big and it's a sectional so a lot of people can fit on it. And it's also like dog proof, spill proof, like stain proof, all those things, which is nice because it's white. And if it wasn't, I definitely would not have gotten a white couch, but it came in a million different boxes. So we unboxed everything and put it together and it's literally perfect. And then we moved our old couch upstairs into one of the extra bedrooms and it actually fits in there perfect. And I'm obsessed with our new couch. I'll have to insert a picture. And then more house updates. I added that photo wall I was talking about and I put a little light above it from Amazon. It turned out really cute. And then I also built a shoe cabinet in our entryway, which also turned out really cute. And it was also from Amazon. So our house looks a little bit different than it did a month ago. And I feel like we're using the space better and it looks a lot more organized and homey. Okay, after I have that lash primer on, I kind of put a lot on. I'm gonna put on my mascara. I use this Maybelline Lash Sensational one and this one is so good. I've used it for literally forever. So I'm just gonna put this right on top of the last thing I put on the primer and then I feel like I don't have to use as much mascara because they already like have their form I just need to make them black one of my best friends came home from her LDS mission and it's been so fun to have her back when Mark and I graduated high school a few years ago a lot of our friends left on missions which is like a Mormon thing if you aren't familiar and now that it's been two years all of our friends have gotten home this summer I only have one more friend that's still out because if you're a girl you have to wait an extra year to go than the guys do which I never really Really knew why that was a thing but all of Mark's friends got home this summer and then the rest of my friends have gotten home since then but my friend Carly that I visited while I was in Paris came home if you watched my Paris vlog then you probably saw her but it's been so fun to have her home I feel like our friend group is finally coming back together after everyone's been gone for so many years so we've been hanging out with her a lot and driving up the canyon a ton because it is fall right now and all of the leaves are changing it's so beautiful outside I feel like we've driven up the canyon pretty much every day since I last filmed anything and it's just so beautiful up there. Honestly the leaves are already falling and it's not as pretty anymore as it was a couple weeks ago even a couple days ago but it's still pretty. I just drove the loop the other day with some of my friends and it was still gorgeous. There is literally no other place I would rather be at this time of year. I'm so lucky I live somewhere where we actually have seasons and the colors change and the leaves are just so beautiful. Okay my mascara is done and I feel like it looks so much better when I use that lash primer and now I'm gonna use a q-tip to get off like what I got around my eyes I just lick it and then it comes off super easily okay last I'm just gonna do my lips and give a few wedding updates honestly I don't have a ton of updates because we're still a bunch of months out and we already figured out like all of the big stuff for our wedding so we've just been working on details a little bit usually I use the Anastasia lip pencil but it's in my car and I don't want to go get it out right now so I'm using this Mac one that's super similar the color that I used in the Anastasia one is is Dusty Rose and this MAC one the color is Sweet Talk. They're pretty much the same color. This one's just a little bit more like pink but I'm just gonna line my lips with this and then I use my finger to kind of blend it in. Okay then now that it looks like this I'm gonna add this Milani lip oil on top of it. This one is Cherry Lime and I feel like it's just a perfect little lip combo and then really the only wedding updates that I have right now is that we took my ring to get resized like two weeks ago. Maybe we took it like a week and a half ago and I got it back last 
last week so it finally fits me and i love it so much it's literally my dream ring and it's so perfect i love how simple it is and i feel like it's just timeless and it will never go out of style but it was like a full size too big for me and i've just been wearing it since july just having it be too big because i didn't want to take it and drop it off for a week and then have to go pick it up again so i've just been wearing it but it was way too big on me it was always falling off and i was scared i was gonna lose it so i finally actually took it to get resized and it took like a week and then i got it back and now it fits me perfect and i'm so happy about that and then really the only other wedding update is that i put our invitations together we need to figure out a caterer like this week we still haven't done that i probably already said all this before but we already have our venue photographer videographer dj cake dress I'm putting together our bridesmaids dresses, but I already know all of my bridesmaids and groomsmen, and I'm trying to think of what else. We have our florist, decorations. I already have our wedding sign that's gonna be like when you walk into our wedding. I have like all of our big stuff figured out already besides our catering. I really need to do that this week, but that's pretty much all of our wedding updates, and that's pretty much everything that's been going on the last month, and I'm gonna make a cute little vlog for our New York trip this week, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching i love you guys and all the products i used are linked in my like to know it and my amazon storefront bye, bye.